Chisomo, I want to thank you for being part of this service this morning. I really don't take it for granted when I see somebody like you, my brethren, my sisters in the Lord that we have joined together to start the day with the Lord. I know something is about to happen. I'm convinced, I have no doubt at all, that with God all things are possible. You too, you are about to become possible. Remember, it's all about Jesus. It's all about the presence of the Holy Spirit. I want to join you this morning. Let us join together and invite the Holy Spirit to start with us. Dear Holy Spirit, we commit ourselves in your hand. We commit this service in your hand. Fill our heart this morning. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Where the Spirit of God is, the Bible says there's a liberty. I want to believe your day of liberation has come. I want to take you from the book of Romans. The book of Romans chapter number 5. And I'll read from verse number 18. So then, as through one trespass, there is condemnation for everyone. So also through one righteous act, there is life-giving justification for everyone. For just as through one man's disobedience, the many were sinners. So also through one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. The law become, the law come along to multiply the transpersy. But where sin multiplies, grace also multiplies even more. May God bless you as we are leading the word of God in Jesus Christ's name. This is the word of God. The Bible says, when one man transpasses, it's condemnation for everyone. One person's mistakes can destroy everyone. But also, one righteousness can create justification for everyone. The Bible says, one disobedience, disobedience of one man, can make many to become sinners. And the justification, obedience of one man can justify all. And the Bible says, when the sin multiplies, grace also multiplies. I pray that this morning, this word of God will be talking about you. May God start using you now. Maybe before the devil was using your life as a, as a temple where he was hiding his evil desire and was destroying your future destroying your family, destroying your marriage. I want you to understand, if you want person in that family today, you can decide to allow Jesus to take charge, to allow Jesus to take control. The Bible said because of one man, there can be justification for all. Your family can receive justification. The righteousness of you, one person today, can change that office. That office you are going, that office you are working, that profession you are in, it needs one man to change it. And that one man is you. God wants to use you this morning so that when you go, you go with this grace. Remember the Bible says where sin multiplies, grace also multiplies. It means no matter the worst the, how worst the situation can be, there is a way out for you. There is a way out for that situation you are in. I pray for your life this morning. May God connect you with good people this morning. May you become the person that can change lives. Remember, in every situation, God uses one person. There's a destiny maker. There's somebody that God has created that will change life of many. I pray that person will be you in Jesus Christ's name. Always there is somebody that God wants to use to create opportunity for the life. I pray that person will be you in the name of Jesus Christ. Always there is a person that will lead people through during the time of, it was more, during the time of Egyptians and Israel's encounter, there was Moses. And during the time of troubles in Egypt, it was Joseph. God wants to use you. God wants to use one man 
to present his presence in the situation in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that that person will be you. May God grant you that grace. If you believe that you are going out this morning as a person that will change lives, call the number you are seeing on the screen. We'll be more than happy to pray with you because I know in the name of Jesus, a life will change through you. In the name of Jesus, future will be created through you. In the name of Jesus Christ, finances will be rebuilt again because of you. Thank you for watching this program. May God bless you as you're watching. I know the best is yet to come. Kumbukirani, Zabwin, Zidagari, Zikubera. Surely, the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Just relax in the precious hand of the Holy Spirit. I'm waiting for your testimony. May God bless you. Thank you for listening.